Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. So today we're going to be doing a what's in my bag video. I guess this is a work edition because I am working and going to my work office job every day. So these are all the essentials that I keep in my bag and I thought why not? You know, this is a like classic YouTube kind of video and I haven't done one in ages. Before we jump into the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out. And today's one's going to go to... Nads is lamb, so thank you so much for your sweet comment. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so, or you can just leave a nice comment. Okay, so the bag that I actually have is a Valentino tote bag, you can say. It's very stiff and actually can fit a lot on in here, so it's, it's like, I really do love this. I think I bought this for like £130, I think, but it's served me for well over a year. It's starting to get a bit damaged now, so I think I'm in need for a new one, but this has served me well. I don't really want to get rid of it, but you have a long handle, so it fits right on your shoulder really well, and yeah, it's just a mess in here. It's a mess. I was due for cleanup, so I thought, why not film a video? Actually, I'm just being honest, okay. So uh, the first thing that's in here that's taking a lot of the space is my new book that I've been so into and I've been talking about like just so much lately. So it's called Girls Stop Apologizing and it's by Rachel Hollis. And it's just the best thing ever. Um, I've read this much so far, almost halfway through. Um, I haven't picked up a book since I was like free or something I don't remember the last time I did unless it was like uni or educational kind of books but this has just been like I look forward to reading this on the train like to work and back to home to from work um, and sometimes I also just have like a glass of green tea and I just read it on my bed instead of watching Netflix 24 7 it's good to just help my vocabulary and it gain motivation Rachel Hollis, the author, is amazing. Like, just from reading half of this book, like, it's so good. It's like actual advice and motivation that you need from a book. I have actually saved some pages, like I've folded some. It's that good, guys, it's that good. Reading was something that I've been wanting to do for a long time to just change and just not always read, uh, watch Netflix all the time. So I'm so proud of myself for actually picking up a book and doing it and reading it. And if you remember my previous video about, you know, weight loss, if you're determined to do something, you can do it. And reading was one, one of the things on my, you know, goal list to actually grab a book and read it and stick to it. So when we, whilst we're talking about goals, it says that's what it boils down to, not whether or not you have the time, but whether this goal you have is so compelling, so beautiful, so necessary to your future happiness that you're willing to trade your current comfort in order to achieve it. Like, think about that. If the goal you want is so worth it and it will just make you happy in the long run and are you willing to make the sacrifices and do what it takes to achieve it? Are you willing to give up a little of today's rest for tomorrow's possibilities? The first step is to get over the excuse that you don't have time and that's something I do a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Another one. So one thing also that I've been feeling lately is especially in my day-to-day -day work in the office is I feel like I don't have the knowledge to do my role. I feel so stupid sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. So this really like hit home for me. Um, it says, someone who thought she wasn't smart enough to ever comprehend them. That's the craziest part about not feeling like we're enough to achieve our dreams. The only way to prove that you are is to get yourself to the other side of doubt. That's much harder to do if you're, not, if you're following someone else's path. You need to focus on what has worked for you in the past and apply those ideas to this new venture. You also need to believe in your possibility instead of focusing on the probability. Not having the knowledge just makes you teachable, not stupid. Not being in shape just makes you moldable, not lazy. Not having the experience just makes you eager, not ignorant. Flip the script and force yourself to see the positive where you've only seen negative. What are the advantages of not knowing, not understanding, not conquering, not having, not achieving your goals yet? The yet matters. The yet reminds us that we have a whole week, month, life ahead of us to become who we were made to be. You are enough today as you are. Stop beating yourself up for being on the beginning side of yet. No matter what age you are, yet is your, pot your potential. Yet is a promise. Yet is what keeps you moving forward yet is a gift and you are enough to get to the other side of it can you understand how much i love this book like 
it's just amazing and I recommend it to anyone okay I'm gonna stop that right now the next thing I have is this eco tools hair brush which I actually really love it's tiny and I just use it all the time we all need a hairbrush in our bag don't we then I just have 10,000 receipts in it don't we just all have that like what why do you just shove it in there look I even bought candles for my sister's birthday and I didn't even bother putting it on the damn cake and now it's a day too late more receipts more receipts this is this is just embarrassing at this point I always need a pack of Kleenex tissue you just never know you need to be prepared so always have tissue in your bag I then have my very jacked up um, nail card it's disgusting but I have three more left so I can get five pounds off so I always keep this in my bag I actually don't have much in it what the hell just a random plastic spoon you just never know although try to avoid plastic you know bring your own utensils with you metal ones that you can wash because I really I'm not living for these cardboard ones I know we're trying to make a difference and save the planet but these cardboard spoons and forks are so disgusting like it's just buy a camping um, utensils kit and you can keep it in your bag and just put it back in when you're done and wash it whenever you have time so yeah more receipts more receipts more receipts guilty this is just the pure example where I've had a long day at work so I decided to treat myself to a bar of chocolate on the train home before my husband finds out. Then I have my key. I actually got this really cute key ring thing from Turkey. Um, I love this. Like I always go by this evil eye thing and it's so pretty. Love it. Got the elephant as well. It's so beautiful. So that's my house keys. You always need a charger with you, you just never know, okay? If you're going to be stranded somewhere, always have your charger so your phone is always charged. I have three hand creams in here. Three. Why does a girl need three hand creams? So this is the situation, okay? I'm going to explain. <laughs> this one was okay. This is the Garnier Ultimate Blends Hand Restoring Cream in Honey. It's like for extra, like, extra, extra dry hands. And I finished it. This can go in a bit now. But it wasn't like doing it for me. It was hydrating, but my hand felt a bit sticky afterwards and I wasn't too fond of the smell either. So then I went and bought a high-end one, which is the Sol Janeiro Brazilian Touch Hand Cream. And I actually do love Sol Janeiro like creams. They smell amazing. But this is just, this was just disappointing to me. This feels more watery and like a gel cream rather than a moisturizer for hands, you know? And it smells way too strong for a hand cream. I don't understand why brands do hand creams with strong scents. Like, what is the point? It's supposed to smell fresh and light. It's it was, it's going to be sickening if it stinks, like, really strong. So then I got this Garnier Intensive 7 Day one, which I'm not mad at, but it smells very cucumbery. I like the consistency of it, and it sinks in, but still hydrates, doesn't feel sticky. Uh, and I think I got this for like £2 or something, £3. But what I do, I actually mix the two together. But I'm definitely not going to be repurchasing either of them. I'm still in a search for a good hand cream. My next purchase will probably be on the Aussie 10 ones, because a lot of you recommended it to me on Instagram, so... Yeah, if you guys know of any good hand creams, please let me know in the in the comments below. I've tried body shop ones. They're not bad. I might actually go for the body shop ones. I actually don't even know what I'm looking for at this point now. I think I'm setting too high of expectations on hand creams. Then I have my AirPods. I literally cannot live without these. This has been the best gift I've ever been given. My husband got me this like last year for Christmas and I've been using them every day since. A year later, they're still working absolutely fine. And the casing is really like damaged, but it still works, charges well. And the sound's really good. It's just so convenient and I love these so much. I then have my straw cleaner. This is so random, but I have metal straws at work that I drink sometimes out of because of my teeth. I'm going to keep my teeth in good shape. I haven't been very serious with it, but I have my straw cleaner just in case. And my water bottle at work also has a straw, so I use this to clean it as well. So I keep this. I'm prepared. I also have like a compactable mirror. 
you know just in case i need to do my makeup on the train if i'm really running late i bring my makeup bag that i have at home with me so it's not always with me but i'll grab it just in case i do need it i then have labello a lot of you a lot of you live in south africa actually have access to this so this is like precious to me precious um i think i've got two in it actually i've got two in it they're the best lip balm ever um, but I can only get them from um, France. So whenever someone goes there, I ask them to bring me a pack. They're so good. I also have my Lime Crime Melon Smoothie Lipstick kind of thing. It's really nice. And this is what I use every day mostly. It's the Hourglass Unreal Strike. It's kind of like a lip gloss. It's so good. Here's a little close-up of... Uh, here's a little close-up of the two but this is more glossy and this has more is like definitely more matte i don't have my accessorized purse which is all jacked up and ripped up um yeah i definitely need to get a new one i have a secret santa it's coming soon and i put a purse in my wish list because i i am in need of a new one and it's just one of those things that you never get around to purchasing you just leave it to last minute until it's like no longer even working you need to pay for something and it doesn't even want to open anymore and it's just embarrassing so then you're just like right i need to get a new one i always have some spare hair bands and gum i always like the blue extras who likes the green extras they're nasty i hate them i have a mascara here because if i was stranded on a desert i would want a mascara with me it's like a must so this is my Too Faced better than sex mini mascara i then have these like bobble hair bands they're like the best thing ever these hair bands don't leave a dent in your hair so they're really handy round two again another situation where i was like i deserve chocolate so i got it for the train home and then finally i just have my work pass and my train pass and then finally i just keep my umbrella in here because you just can't Trust UK weather, so and it's coming to winter time, so I always have this in here. This is so dirty. Right, so that's everything that's in my work bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, do I have some random stuff in my bag? Let me know. Or is that am I missing stuff? I think I need perfume. I think that's what I need in my bag. Let me know what perfume I should get. I don't know which one, because I need like a mini one, because this bag is heavy enough as it is. I can't have anything else in it. And oh, there is something missing in it actually. I usually have my Bumble and Bumble like tote bag. It's like those really stronghold shopping tote bags, which, which are fabric. So I fold it up and I keep it in here whenever I go like shopping or do a quick errand shop in Asda. I always have my bag instead of buying another plastic one that we stock up behind our fridge for no reason so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up if you did and also recommend me any good hand creams or perfumes subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next one bye guys